Have you ever found yourself consumed by anger, saying or doing things you later regret? What if I told you there's a 2,000-year-old philosophy that holds the key to mastering this powerful emotion? Imagine having the tools to stay calm and composed, no matter the situation. Today, we'll unlock the secrets of Seneca, a Stoic philosopher whose timeless wisdom can help you control your anger and transform your life. Stay with me, because what you're about to learn might just be the key to a more peaceful and balanced existence. Seneca, a name that echoes through the corridors of ancient philosophy, was a prominent Stoic thinker and advisor to the Roman Emperor Nero. Born in 4 BCE, Seneca's life was marked by political intrigue, personal challenges, and profound insights into the human condition. Stoicism, the philosophy he championed, teaches that we should focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. This timeless wisdom is incredibly relevant today, helping us navigate the complexities of modern life with a calm and rational mindset. At the heart of Stoicism lies the belief that our emotions are shaped by our perceptions. Seneca emphasized practical advice for managing emotions, particularly anger. He believed that by understanding and altering our thought patterns, we could achieve a state of inner peace and resilience. Seneca's teachings offer actionable strategies to control anger, turning a potentially destructive force into an opportunity for personal growth and self-mastery. Understanding Anger Anger is a powerful and often overwhelming emotion. It can erupt when we feel wronged, threatened or frustrated, pushing us to react impulsively. This intense feeling, while natural, can become highly destructive if left unchecked. Anger clouds our judgment, leading to actions and words we might later regret. It can damage our relationships, creating rifts with those we care about. Moreover, the constant stress from frequent anger can seriously impact our health, contributing to high blood pressure, heart disease, and other ailments. Seneca, the renowned Stoic philosopher, saw anger as one of the most damaging and irrational emotions. He believed it distorts our perception, making us react disproportionately to even minor irritations. Seneca described anger as a form of temporary madness, a state where we lose control over our reason and clarity. But what causes this powerful emotion? Often, anger stems from unmet expectations and judgments about how things should be. When reality clashes with our expectations, we feel a sense of injustice or frustration. Seneca taught that by understanding the root causes of our anger, we could learn to manage it more effectively. He urged us to examine our thoughts and beliefs, recognizing that our emotional responses are shaped by our perceptions. The consequences of uncontrolled anger are far-reaching. It can lead to impulsive decisions that harm ourselves and others. Relationships can suffer as anger creates distance and conflict. On a personal level, the physical toll of constant anger is significant, affecting both our mental and physical well-being. For Seneca, mastering anger was crucial to living a virtuous and balanced life. He believed that by gaining control over our anger, we could turn it into an opportunity for personal growth and self-improvement. Seneca's teachings offer practical strategies for managing anger, helping us remain calm and composed even in difficult situations. His wisdom provides a guide to navigating life's challenges with a clear mind and steady heart, transforming anger from a source of chaos into a tool for inner peace. The Stoic Approach to Anger The Stoic approach to anger centers on fostering a rational mindset. Stoicism teaches that our emotions are not caused by events themselves, but by our interpretations of those events. By training ourselves to think rationally, we can better manage our emotional responses. Instead of reacting impulsively to anger, we can pause and analyze the situation logically. 
This rational thinking helps us see the bigger picture, understand different perspectives, and respond in a more controlled manner. A key practice in Stoicism is emotional detachment. This doesn't mean becoming cold or indifferent. Rather, it involves recognizing that we cannot control external events, only our reactions to them. By detaching ourselves emotionally from outcomes and focusing on what we can control, we can maintain our inner peace. When faced with a provoking situation, a Stoic would remind themselves that the event is outside their control, but their response to it is within their power. Seneca offered several pieces of practical advice for controlling anger. First, he suggested taking a moment to reflect before reacting. This pause allows us to regain our composure and think more clearly. He also advised viewing the situation from different perspectives, which can help reduce the intensity of our anger. Additionally, Seneca recommended preparing for potential provocations in advance. By mentally rehearsing how we might respond to irritating situations, we can better manage our reactions when they occur. Another of Seneca's strategies is to delay our response. Giving ourselves time to cool down can prevent us from saying or doing things we might regret. He also emphasized the importance of lowering our expectations. By expecting less from others, we can reduce the likelihood of feeling disappointed or frustrated. In summary, the Stoic approach to anger involves cultivating a rational mindset, practicing emotional detachment, and applying Seneca's practical advice. By doing so, we can transform our anger into a source of strength and self-control, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and tranquility. 5. Practical Techniques from Seneca Seneca offered a wealth of practical techniques to help manage anger effectively. Let's delve into some of his most impactful strategies. Technique 1. Reflection. Pause and reflect. One of Seneca's primary techniques for controlling anger is to pause and reflect before reacting. When anger flares up, it's crucial to take a moment to step back and breathe. This brief pause allows us to regain control over our emotions and think more clearly. Reflecting on why we're angry, what triggered it, and whether our reaction is justified can help diffuse the intensity of our anger. By interrupting the immediate impulse to react, we can respond more thoughtfully and rationally. Technique 2. Perspective. Shift your perspective. Another valuable technique is shifting our perspective. Seneca encouraged viewing situations from different angles to gain a broader understanding. When we're angry, our focus narrows, and we often fail to see the bigger picture. By considering the other person's viewpoint or imagining how we might feel about the situation a week or a month from now, we can reduce the emotional charge. This broader perspective can help us realize that many provocations are trivial in the grand scheme of things. Technique 3. Preparation. Prepare for provocations. Seneca also emphasized the importance of preparing for potential provocations. Life is full of unexpected challenges and irritations. By mentally rehearsing how we might respond to these triggers, we can build resilience and reduce the likelihood of being caught off guard. This preparation involves anticipating situations that might provoke anger and planning calm, measured responses. Being prepared can help us stay composed and prevent anger from taking over. Technique 4. Delay. Delay your response. Delaying our response is another powerful strategy. When we feel anger rising, postponing our reaction can prevent us from saying or doing things we might later regret. This delay gives us time to cool down and think more clearly. Whether it's counting to 10, taking a few deep breaths, or stepping away from the situation for a moment, this pause can make a significant difference in how we handle our anger. 
Technique five, reduce expectations, lower expectations. Finally, lowering our expectations can significantly reduce frustration and anger. Seneca advised that many of our anger triggers stem from unrealistic expectations of others and ourselves. By adjusting our expectations and accepting that people and situations may not always meet our standards, we can minimize feelings of disappointment and irritation. This doesn't mean lowering our standards, but rather being more flexible and understanding in our interactions. Incorporating these techniques into our daily lives can help us manage anger more effectively. Seneca's wisdom provides practical tools for turning anger into an opportunity for growth and self-control, enabling us to lead more balanced and harmonious lives. Six, modern applications of Seneca's techniques. Seneca's teachings on managing anger are not just ancient wisdom, they are highly applicable in today's fast-paced world. Let's explore how these techniques can be utilized in modern scenarios, followed by real-life success stories and practical tips for everyday integration. Real-life scenarios. Imagine you're in a meeting and a colleague harshly criticizes your work. Instead of reacting angrily, apply Seneca's technique of pause and reflect. Take a deep breath, count to 10, and consider whether your immediate reaction is constructive. By pausing, you give yourself a chance to respond thoughtfully rather than impulsively. Another scenario could be dealing with a customer service issue where you feel wronged. Here, shifting your perspective can help. Try to see the situation from the other person's point of view, perhaps understanding their limitations or pressures. This can reduce your anger and help you communicate more effectively. Practical tips. To integrate Seneca's techniques into your daily life, start small. Each morning, take a few minutes to anticipate potential stressors and mentally prepare for them. This can make you more resilient to unexpected challenges throughout the day. Keeping a journal can also be beneficial. Reflect on situations where you felt angry. Analyze what triggered your anger, how you reacted, and how you could apply stoic techniques in the future. This practice can enhance self-awareness and improve your anger management skills. Additionally, practicing mindfulness and meditation can help you stay present and calm. Regular meditation can lower overall stress levels, making it easier to apply stoic principles when anger arises. Seven, common challenges and how to overcome them. Even with the best techniques, there are common challenges we all face in managing anger. Let's address these and explore strategies to overcome them. Challenge one, impatience, strategies to cultivate patience. Impatience often fuels anger. To cultivate patience, practice mindfulness techniques such as deep breathing and meditation. Remind yourself that patience is a strength and that taking a moment to breathe can help you respond more calmly and rationally. Challenge. Two, high stress situations. Techniques to remain calm under pressure. In high stress situations, it's easy to lose control. Prepare yourself by using visualization techniques. Imagine yourself staying calm and composed in stressful scenarios. This mental rehearsal can make it easier to maintain your composure when faced with real life stress. Challenge three, recurring anger triggers, developing long-term strategies. For recurring anger triggers, it's important to develop long-term strategies Identify the root causes of your anger and work on addressing them. This might involve setting boundaries, practicing assertive communication, or seeking professional support if needed. Let's recap the key points we've discussed today. We've explored the nature of anger, the impact it has on our lives, and Seneca's stoic techniques for managing it. From reflection and perspective shifting to preparation, delaying responses and lowering expectations, these strategies can transform our approach to anger. 
Remember, anger is a natural emotion, but with the right tools, we can control it rather than letting it control us. As Seneca wisely said, no man is free who is not master of himself. I encourage you to start applying these techniques today. Take the first step towards mastering your anger and share your experiences in the comments below. Your journey to inner peace and resilience begins now.